you're uh, in the 50-50. Remember, when we're 50-50, we're protecting our legs, crossing them. Uh, he decides he wants to turn to this side and stand up. So now he goes to stand up, okay? And as he's standing up, I want to I want to make sure that my hips are elevated up off the mat. I don't want to leave my hips down here. It's going to be easy for him to break this lock and get out, right? So keep my hips elevated, and I keep my lock here. Now, um, I could be I could be hugging my my leg right here to keep his foot in. In, in, in place. And the other thing is I want to keep my hips elevated. Now from here, if I feel like he's not quite driving his balance or his weight that way, I can swing and try to get back over. And then once he comes, then I can attack his leg right away. I want to stretch his toes and then finish a lot. All right, so again, he stands up. As he stands up, my hips elevate. Look at, see my hips are really elevated. They're up off the mat. Now from here, I'm going to try to sweep it. My hips are loaded. I release this leg. I swing it. I look and finish. As soon as he hits the mat, i got to be locking the, the lock and try to finish the lock. Because as soon as he hits, what's he going to be doing? Trying to cross his leg. So I need to wrap his leg up as he's falling. So again, he stands up. My hips elevate high. See, I'm up, my hips are up off the mat. I'm strong here. Now, once I'm ready to go, I release, I swing. I hook his leg, and I, and I, and I move my, uh, my armpit all the way down so his toes are stretched. My hands here by my sternum, my feet are pushing into his hips, and then I finish a lot, okay? So last time, he stands up, I am here, elevate my hip, I swing and I finish the lock. Alright? Let's try it. 